assume that uh, we have women and men in the same number. So the probability of being a man or a woman is exactly the same. And assume that 5% of the men are colorblind and only 0.25% of the women are colorblind, which is actually very close to the truth. Uh, what we have to compute is the probability that a person that is taken at random is colorblind. And the second one is the probability that having drawn a colorblind person, this person is a male. Now, this exercise is another exercise in which we apply things that we have seen, that is to say the law of total probability and Bayes' theorem. So the first answer, that is to say what is the probability that a person drawn at random is colorblind is the probability that this person is a man, which is one half, times the probability that the man is colorblind, which is 5%, plus the probability that the person is a lady, one half, times the probability that that lady is colorblind. So 0.25%. If I compute, I get that the probability is 0.02, sorry, 2.6 percent. Okay, this is how I compute the answer for the first question. For the second question, we just have to apply Bayes' theorem very simply and straightforwardly. So I would say that we, uh, sorry, so we have that the probability of being a male given that you are colorblind is equal to the probability that you are colorblind given that you are a male times the probability that you are a male divided the probability that you are colorblind. Now we have all these numbers because the probability of being colorblind is exactly what we have just computed, which is 0.026. And at the, denumer uh, the numerator, we have the probability of being colorblind if you are a man, which is 5% times the probability that that you are a man. If you compute this ratio, the, problem, the probability that we are looking for is 0 0.96. Okay, this is the second answer to our proof. <laughs>